Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of The Concept Guy and this is the solution thermodynamics part 4 of the video series and as earlier we have seen that the for pure for pure substances the fugacity is Fi and for solution it is Fi cap okay why for solution this is Fi cap because in a solution when two compounds or two or more compounds interact the fugacity also changes because if they kind of attract each other then fugacity is the effective force which will will the compound put on the walls okay that effective force will reduce so fugacity will change and it will become fi cap okay so for pure we have seen that dgi is rtdl and fi and for solution it's the same thing just we have to put the mar partial molar property because we are dealing with the solution and the fi cap and for constant temperature and composition for pure we have seen dgi is vidp okay constant temperature means that dt thing becomes zero and the ni also okay dni thing that also becomes zero so we get finally this result okay so we will move on to find what do we need to find actually we need to find this fi cap okay or we can find this phi i uh, that's the fugacity coefficient phi i cap in a solution okay now we are dealing with solution we have already seen for the pure compounds earlier so what do we need to do is just equate both of these equations okay for a solution, we need to equate both of these and we will get RT, DL and F, I cap, okay, should be equal to V, I cap, DP, okay. So, from this, we can actually get this phi, uh, this F, I cap, okay. So, we can get this value of F, I cap, which we require, okay. It's pretty much the same thing. So, let me rub this. Pretty much the same thing that we have done for the pure materials, okay. Let me rub this also. RT, DL and F, chi, F, I cap. Okay, R, T, D, okay, let's take R, T there, R, T, that side, so we have D, L, and F, I cap is equal to V, I bar partial molar volume upon R, T, and this was D, P, okay, okay, this was D, P, and, and let's think what we have done earlier, okay, let's think what we have done earlier, earlier we actually found out the phi, I, okay, so here also, what we will do is because fi cap upon pi pi is the partial pressure this is phi i cap so to get this we here need fi cap divided by pi for that what we will we will do is we will use the property of ln so for that let's use the property of ln and let's subtract pi from both sides okay from here also we subtract pi uh, this should be dp and this is this should be we should actually subtract this first okay i will rearrange it i will rearrange it okay so what is this thing okay so we need to see what is this thing because earlier we, what we said is dp upon p now we integrate it we will get ln p okay and if it is one to two so this is ln p uh, so it is ln p one state or two state minus ln p one state hence we can write d ln p so here the, we have d ln pi pi and we can write it as dp upon pi okay we can write it as same but let's think we have a problem here that we have here p and here is pi that the partial pressure so what is the partial pressure actually the partial pressure okay pi is nothing but yi okay partial pressure pi okay let's uh, put a bar here that would be better to understand that it's, it is partial okay that is pi times the total pressure so let's take the ln okay we because we want this ln uh, this will be ln yi plus ln p okay and let's now put a differential okay if we differentiate it okay now if you see this okay if we see this we have already said that uh, this vi dp we got this vi dp because we are taking it constant composition so this part if we differentiate it okay this l uh, yi is constant so the change in yi is zero so hence we can get d ln pi cap is equal to nothing but d ln p okay and hence we can put d p here instead of pi that will make things easier because we have dp here okay so we can put p here okay and we know this value we know this that this we will have ln ln minus ln that means division okay uh, that means division uh, well let's write it directly let's write it directly uh, phi i cap is equal to nothing but vi bar upon rt minus this is dp upon p 
So let's take dp common. So 1 upon p and we have taken dp common. I've told you integration says that this is dp upon p. Okay. We need to integrate now. Okay. Obviously we need to integrate now and that should be the standard uh, standard state of pressure and till p pressure of the system and this should also vary from that uh, or we can actually write it as let's think what should the value of phi i cap should be at standard state this should be a phi i naught okay and at any state it will be phi i cap for i now similar thing we have seen in the pure substance okay in pure substance we saw that ln in pure substance also so this d will go out okay so we have seen that in pure substance the equation was kind of this if you recall the previous parts it was uh, kind of this okay one upon p the it was very much similar okay just there was this and this so because of the uh, because it's in a solution so we put these caps and bars the rest it was very much same this also same and uh, the integration values were also same this is actually at standard state i think it should be zero okay uh, zero no uh, let's put that only let's put only this phi i naught okay at standard state whatever the value it is okay so we have seen this these are quite similar so what we we can do is let's subtract both of these from this to this if we subtract this again ln and ln subtraction will give us division okay so subtraction will give us division so what we can have here is phi i cap divided by phi uh, i and this will yield us this will yield us the integration of v i bar by r t minus v i by r t into d p p naught to p okay now what do we here what we should actually see here is that for an ideal solution okay this was for any solution for any solution okay for any solution this is true okay this above above formula now if we see closely this vi bar and vi for an ideal solution for an ideal solution what happens is that let's take two beakers okay it has one compound it has second compound and they have a volume molar volume respectively okay if they are put in a third beaker okay and the volume if it the volume comes out to be v1 plus v2 then what we can say here is that this is an ideal solution okay why is it is an ideal solution because even after their interaction the volume didn't change so their par partial molar volume is equal to their molar volume so even if in a solution they take up the same space okay they take up the same space and the volume the total volume is the sum of their respectively uh, molar volumes okay so in that case if this is true for an ideal solution then this minus this should be zero okay because uh, this is vi the partial partial and the normal molar property both are same this is for one okay for an ideal solution only okay so we for an ideal solution okay for an ideal solution for ideal solution what will happen vi bar is vi and hence this part will be zero so ln phi i cap upon phi i should be equal to zero uh, it has e base so e to the power zero is one so phi i i phi i cap is equal to one into phi i okay and phi i is fi fi cap and upon pi this should be equal to f upon p let's put it there okay this is pi and what is this thing this thing we have seen this was yi we have written it sometime earlier this was yi the molar fraction mole fraction okay of ith component so hence we find out that fi cap is equal to yi into into f f this should be fi also okay uh, this should be also fi because we are talking about the ith species and this is true for ideal solution it is also known as lewis Randall rule okay this is known as lewis Randall rule and it is true for ideal solution it is true for ideal solution now 
when it is true. Now obviously it is true for ideal solution. So LR rule, first thing is it is true for ideal solution. Next, what we see here is that this mole fraction should be greater. So it is true for concentrate. If it is almost zero, then the value of Fi gap will be also zero and hence the overall equation will get affected because our assumption was that the particles, the, the one and two in an ideal solution do not interact as such that the volume, the total volume changes. Uh, so it is V1 plus V2, we have seen that, so not, doesn't affect the volumes of each other. So it should be concentrated, Concen concentrated should be and it should be a concentrated solution. Next, what other possibilities are for LR rule to follow? Okay, so for LR rule to follow, we must have this pressure to be low. So it should follow at low pressures. Okay, and what else? So the molecular molecules should have same physical characteristics as we, as we have seen one and two as we put them together they occupy the same volume so obviously one is very much si similar to two okay so so the molecular molecular characteristics okay are same quite same or uh, similar we should write similar now obviously if they are same then one this is also one this is one but this is two and hence they have molecular characteristic similarities okay so in these cases, the LR rule will be applied. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and do subscribe.